Today I want to talk about the fact that recovery is possible. I just want to let you know that you have, if you have CFS, if you have fibromyalgia, anything similar to that, pain, fatigue, brain fog, all kinds of other weird symptoms like light sensitivity, sound sensitivity, and on and on, you can recover. I can, I can recover, I will recover, and you can recover too. Now, this is what I believe now, I'm certain of it, but I didn't always know this, and that's what I want to talk about. So, I've had this condition for many, many years, maybe like 13, 14, 15 years, hard, hard to say exactly, but uh, for a long time I had no idea what's going on. I just had pain and fatigue and brain fog and all these other symptoms and I didn't know what was going on and the doctors kept telling me everything is normal, there's nothing wrong with you and I didn't know what to make of things and I just kept getting depressed about okay what's going on, I, you know, I don't know what to do. Eventually I came to think of myself as having CFS which is what, you know, a label they would put on me or fibromyalgia is another one. Uh, that's technically correct, you know, given the current medical point of view. Uh, and But the problem is, when you research that, you find out, oh, this is an incurable condition. Now what are you supposed to do? Well, it's simply not true that it's incurable. What it means is there's no pill they can give you, there's no surgery they can perform. But people recover from this all the time. And something important that I did is that at one point, you know, I had been reading a lot of message boards and research on CFS, fibromyalgia, etc. And I was just getting more and more depressed. Oh my God, there's so many people and nobody can recover. And I was just in this stew and it was just not making me feel hopeful or good about anything at all. It wasn't really helpful. Uh, at one point I decided, okay, I'm not going to read anything except recovery stories. I, I want to I talk to people, I want to listen to people, I want to read people who have recovered or people who are improving. And this was a tremendous help for me. I, I tuned out everything else and I focused it, I looked for videos, I looked for written reports, anything I can get my hands on, people who have recovered. And people recover, man. If you do this kind of thing yourself, if you do this research, if you seek out recovery stories, people recover all the time. It's common to recover from this. Now, a lot of people don't recover. It's true. A lot of people suffer for a long time. I have. But it's not something that you have to have forever. That's not true at all. That's, that's, that's false. And when I was reading and listening to all these stories, I was looking... This is before I discovered Dr. Sarno's work and the emotional connection. Uh, so before I knew that I have TMS, which is what I really have. Uh, but uh, bef before all that, you know, I didn't know this. I, I didn't know about Dr. Sarno, but I knew it was possible to recover. And I had been looking, what did all the recovery stories have in common? What was something they all had in common? Because... They had gone to different kinds of practitioner and they did different kinds of things like uh, they had gone to alternative medicine practitioners and they did, did, in my opinion, silly things that weren't really responsible for their recovery. But whatever. I know how it is. You try anything that seems that it could help. But the one thing they all had in common is they experienced some kind of emotional growth or emotional processing or something to do with their emotion almost everybody mentioned something to do with emotions and so it was clear there's there was a common thread there and uh, so that sensitized me that later when I came across Dr. Sarno's work it made sense for me it made sense that uh, there's a connection here and it's quite clear so after I'd done this work of going through recovery stories, I actually got worse. I had experienced a lot of life stress, uh, stuff with family and stuff, you know, just doesn't matter. 
and I crashed really, really bad. And this is when I was bed bound and I, I had to wear an eye mask and earplugs because I was so light and sound sensitive. And it was bad. It was really, really bad. You know, I showered once every three days. I had to have my meals in bed. It was horrible. But the one thing that kept me going, it was really depressing. It was really hard. But what kept me going is all those stories I'd read. I didn't know how at that time. But I knew somehow people recover and that I am going to recover as well. Again, I didn't know how. Now I know how. But then I didn't know how, but I had this hope. And if I hadn't absorbed that information, if I hadn't put all that in my mind that people recover, this is totally recoverable, I don't know what would have happened to me. I, I would have get, gotten much more depressed and it would have been much, much worse and much harder. So this is really what I want to let you know is that recovery is possible. So if you're not yet at a point where you are ready to accept that all these symptoms, they have to do with your unconscious emotions. That the, bra the brain is trying to divert attention from those emotions that it perceives as threatening in some way. To painful, socially unacceptable, whatever. And so it tries to make sure that those emotions do not come to consciousness. And it employs various physical symptoms as a means to that end to distract your attention. So if you're not buy, ready to buy all that, well, I, I I encourage you to seek out recovery stories and just see that at least, if, if you're in this mindset that this is, you just have to manage this, you just have to learn to live with this, it ain't necessarily so. Find out for yourself. You know, seek out recovery stories and stop uh, hanging out in that stew of people where if if if, if participating in some forum or whatever reading something research whatever makes you feel hopeless makes you make makes it so that you get more depressed and you have less hope stop doing that start looking to things that uplift you that give you hope and things that are true you know these people really did recover i believe them so i'm going to leave you with that i hope this helps you make whatever is the next step for you good luck